obviously uh, start off with the uh, opening statement from you on today's game. Really, really pleased to have had the opportunity to have our team go against two really solid GLIAC opponents in both Wayne State and Ferris State. I think it's important for us to, you know, be mindful of the fact that in the exhibition scrimmage season, what we want to do is put ourselves in situations where we not only look at, you know, the combinations of players that we get to put on the floor, but how they respond to game conditions. And clearly, uh, we have a team that um, is ahead offensively, but way behind defensively. And one of the things we want to concentrate on is really two basic areas. One, value in the basketball, and then two, 50-50 situations as it relates to blockouts and second chance points. When you look at both of our preseason opponents, uh, they both were able to generate, you know, a decent amount of numbers in those two areas. When you look at tonight's contest against a really good Ferris State team who went to the Sweet 16 in Division II last year, they generated 17 points off of our uh, 12 miscues. Now, we're six turnovers less than the previous game, so yeah, you're trying to find a silver lining there. However, I think when you look at the situation where the second chance points being 12, now you're talking about a situation where you have 29 points that are areas that we call controllables. Blocking out and doing those different things are going to be areas that we'll continue to concentrate in as we prepare for our home opener and games beyond. Uh, your home opener is Friday. What, what is your area of concern with where you want to go offensively and defensively? Well, I think, Perry, where it starts is we want to make sure that in every game that we play that we're in a situation where we're getting to the free throw line. Tonight, uh, with Fair State changing defenses and keeping those off, off balance, plus coupled with the foul trouble that we experienced earlier, took – some of my better players off the floor that can get us into those situations. Now, in addition to that, I think it's going to be very important that we shrink our rotation down to a more um, feasible number that allows us to bolster our chemistry. We'll have Chris Jenkins back in the lineup who was out from injury. Now we have Josh McFally back. Uh, Jaleel Hogan is in improved condition along with Aaron Foster-Smith. So you're seeing flashes from those guys. At the same time, we got young guys that are going through the growing pains of learning our level. But when you start getting into a rotation of eight or nine players versus playing as many as we've played in the preseason, I think what you'll see is a chemistry that will develop and um, grow you know, from that approach. And so I want to shrink rotation and then cover those uh, two areas that I cited in my opening remarks in terms of um, blocking out to minimize offensive rebound and putbacks, and two, uh, making sure we value the ball even better. I think a little bit more experience on the floor help in those areas. So you want to go to at least nine? Yeah, at least, at, least, at least nine players and potentially eight, you know, just to make sure that we're getting um, guys um, proper rest at proper positions. And then if we go deeper than that, it's because of emergency situations like foul trouble. You started a different five second half. Assuming Jaleel McFarley would definitely be in the lineup Friday. Have you determined the other three spots? You know, we have, and I think I think it's open season on all five spots, believe it or not. Even our most experienced players that are working themselves back into shape. In fairness to guys like Jaleel Hogan and McFally, now to date, Josh McFally has been able to participate in no more than three, uh, four practices now. And uh, that's as a result of an injury that he sustained. Jaleel Hogan had an injury that he sustained that has only now put him into 15 out of our 26 practices that we've had thus far since we've started. And so these guys are still working themselves in the game condition. Um, obviously, nobody on our roster or nobody in the country at this point in time is in midseason form. But again, those are areas that make – uh, it, even that much more challenging to get to that 50-50 ball or block out and take those extra two shuffles, um, hedge and recover, you know, with the same velocity and quickness that you need to. So we got to be mindful uh, that we're growing in those areas. Um, and then, as you saw, there's pockets where we can really put some things together and make some runs and close deficits really fast. But we got to be able to stretch those instances for longer periods of time. Tonight, you've gotten off the slow starts offensively. 
Well, I think that's a byproduct of the changing of lineups. I think that's also a byproduct of not having the most experienced players on the floor early. So when you look at it, I, I, I don't overthink that particular scenario. I just cite it to having some inexperience on the floor. I think in the first exhibition contest, uh, we had a freshman playing a point guard who had early turnovers in the first half, which disrupts flow. I think this game was a little bit different, putting Dre Black there. Um, what happened, I thought, as the game ensued is that we had maybe poor shot selection, which fueled their ability to get out on the break and catch our defense off balance. So one of the things we talked about post game with the team is understanding uh, shot selection and shot placement as it relates to our ability to balance the floor. Because when we know where shots are coming from, then we can offensive rebound even better, which we wasn't bad in that area tonight. But more importantly, we can balance the floor so our transition defense is a little bit more formidable. You had a tough month, first month of the season. How were you That's a great question. One of the things that we do to minimize uh, distractions is we shrink the game into what we call four-minute wars, okay? And so when you look at a game of basketball at our level, it's 40 minutes. You get 10 four-minute wars. And so what we talk about is winning possessions. And if you win possessions, then that sets you up to win those four-minute wars. If you win four-minute wars, then you can win games. And so what you saw in the first half versus the second half, in the first half, we didn't win any of the five four-minute wars. In the second half, we won more. You know, we won uh, three to two, and we were even for one. So when you look at those disparities, that's the difference between a 49-39 halftime deficit and a 44-36 advantage us in the second half. And so one of the things that we'll really hone in on is shrinking the game down to a micro level and talk about, what's going on in that particular possession so that our guys can have a higher level of maturity uh, as we grow this young and inexperienced team um, along with some of our vets as we move along the season. Coach, we talked about areas that you'd like to improve on. Improve on. Uh, what are some takeaways from the game that you did like that you can take throughout the season? I think this team has spurred ability. And what I mean by that is the offensive um, coach speak, if you will, that – um, describes our ability to go on runs. But I think those runs are fueled by our defense. Whenever we can put consecutive stops in a row and turn those turnovers into touchdowns, meaning scores at the other end for us, then we're pretty good. Um, I think this team is really um, good when we can play inside out. Uh, via the drive, via post passes into Hogan and Blackshear and others, uh, when we're able to space the floor, uh, create space through ball screens and things of that nature. Uh, when the ball is moving and it doesn't stick, I think this team is really good as well because it creates closeout situations for our opponents. We have to continue to just grab those areas that we're strong in and then make sure that we're duplicating them more and more over the period and the course of the season.